So I get the question all the time, Alex, how do I change my mindset when I've been working in the police so long? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you one simple tip that is going to completely change your mindset, but also help you change your life. So this simple tip has not only changed my mindset and my way of thinking, but also it's helping to change my clients at Shift Success, the way they think, and ultimately their mindset. And quite simply, it's to change your environment. Now there's a great quote that says, your environment dictates your performance, and it's very, very true. What you consume internally in your mind will reflect externally. And I see time and time again, members of the police who are consuming things that are gonna hinder their progress, keep them exactly where they are inside their comfort zone, instead of actually consuming content that's gonna help them step outside that comfort zone and try something new. So how do you do this? Well, if, you've, you know, if you're you know, reading the newspaper and all the negative things that are in that, such as you know, the things that happen in celebrities' lives so you're never gonna meet, the things that happen in other countries, the thing that's gonna happen in the government, the economy, and all these kind of scaremongering and fear-based stories, well, that's gonna slow you, keep you exactly where you are. It's gonna slow you down. It's not gonna encourage you to step out in the beautiful world that we have. On the flip side, the successful people, they consume positive content in books. You know, things like, um, you know, some great books out there on business, on motivation, um, on positive thinking, on mindset itself. And that is gonna have a massively bigger impact for you beneficially um, than consuming newspapers on negativity. So that's one way of doing it, you know, things you read, but also things you listen to. Instead of like listening to um, the radio or music that may come on the radio, um, I'd really encourage you to listen to audiobooks. So audiobooks, you can download an app called Audible, and it's just basically listen to a book that someone's reading. And it's a great way to learn on the go when you're in the gym, walking the dog, driving, or just going for a walk in general, um, to, to gain that kind of positive um, mentality, as well as podcasts. Now for me, podcasts are epic because it's like being in a room with two successful people and they're having a conversation. And for me, that's a form of mentorship, you know, seeing what worked for them, what, what didn't work, the mistakes they went through, you know, the, the kind of mindset shifts that they had, the kind of blocks they had, the obstacles. For me, I find it fascinating and I can learn from that massively. That's kind of like gonna shorten my length of achieving something in life. So for me, I should, you know, I'd take full advantage of that. Next is the TV. I see it time and time again, you know, people who unwind on TV, and for me, I do unwind. I watch Netflix, you know, I watch um, some TV shows, which is fine after I get shit done. Netflix is the last thing in my priority, not the first thing, you know, so I make sure I get all my tasks first done. But when I, um, when what I see all the time is people watch soaps and EastEnders and, you know, Emmerdale or um, X on the Beach, and they wonder why they've got drama in their lives. It's because they're bringing drama in internally into their mindset and reflecting that into their own life. So I would really encourage you, instead of watching TV, maybe spend an hour on YouTube and type in business motivation or success motivation and listen to amazing speakers such as Les Brown, Jim Rohn, Tony Robbins, that are gonna help shift your mindset, which is ultimately gonna benefit you in a massive way. And next, your peer group. Now, I can't, I can't stress how important this is. Surround yourself with toxic people, people who don't wanna see you do well, who make subtle comments about your ability or when you go and try something new um, and they kind of make a, oh, that's too risky, that's kind of, oh, I wouldn't do that if I was you. That is a bad environment to be in. It's probably one of the worst. There's a great quote that says, you're the um, average of the five people you surround yourself with, you know, and it's completely true. If you, you know, if you surround yourself with five drug addicts, you're gonna be the six. If you surround yourself with five people who are financially broke, you're gonna be the six. Um, and it, the same happens when you surround yourself with people who have got results, who have got financial success, or people who are achieving certain things. That rubs off on, on individuals, and I encourage you to get around people that you aspire to be like. You know, find yourself network groups, coaches, mentors. It could be that you just make a conscious effort to not engage in negative talk or gossip at work in the police or, um, you know, in your family. You know, for me, you know, I'm quite cutthroat with this. You know, if, if people are around, you know, negative, I just don't deal with it. I just haven't got time for drama or any negativity in my life. 
And once you kind of put that kind of, um, you know, BS detector on, you kind of become more self-aware of any negative comment around you. And that is a good place to be because as soon as you hear it, you notice it and also you can shut off from it. So I'd really encourage you to find yourself a great peer group that talks about ideas, visions, positive thinking, and not shit such as how bad the government's screwing the job over, you know, the pension changes, you know, um, oh, there's no opportunity out there. Because unfortunately, all those, those things may be true, apart from the opportunity one, about the pension and you know the government screwing the, the job over they may be true that's fine but what are you going to do about it are you going to complain all the time or are you going to do something to change your life now again another thing i hear is that you know oh, i haven't got time to do this i haven't got time to read a book i haven't got time to go on youtube for an hour or i haven't got time to you know um, go to a, a network meeting great then you'll exactly be in the same position you are for the duration of your career in the police the thing is i see it time and time again People who really want the result find the time, and those who don't find the excuse, and those who find the time and really want to end up changing their lives in a remarkable way. I will also say that it will be hard changing your mindset in the exact same environment that's made you feel this way or think this way. And that's why you need to make a conscious effort daily to change your environment. Because unfortunately, if you don't, you're gonna get exactly the same result time and time again. Now, before I leave you for this video, I wanna give you a task, I wanna give you a challenge, and I'm gonna give you something that's hopefully, if you stick to it, gonna be massively impactful in a positive way for your mindset and your way of thinking. So for the next 90 days, I want you to cut out all negativity, okay? I want you to maybe turn off or, or delete Facebook friends that keep posting negative shit. I want to stop you engaging in, um, you know, conversations around negativity about the job. It could be your friends and family. And you might want to tell those people who are close to you that you're on this challenge as they don't get you mixed up in the negativity that can quite easily we all talk about. I also want you to think about the news and not listen to that. Uh, and also the radio, which talks about the news as well. And any anything on TV or that you will deem neg negative. Um, and then at the end of the 90 days, I want you to email me at alex at shift to success and share your thoughts on how it's helped you over the next 90 days by just simply cutting out negativity in your life. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I really want to know your experience because I know it's had a profound effect on me and also those who are close to me. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped and I really hope you get the mindset shifts you want going forward. If you did like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,